Hey, what's up? So recently, Windows subsystem for Android got the Android 12 update. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Android 12 with Google Play Store on Windows 11. Trust me, this process is as easy as slicing a cake. So without wasting our time, let's just begin. So to do this, we're going to use this project called magiscon.wsa at GitHub, which I will put a link in the description. You can go there and visit this project at GitHub. So basically, this project allows you to download Windows subsystem for Android, in short WSA, with Google Apps such as Google Play Store. And if you want to get the root access, then you can also get Magisk app with it. So once you're here, make sure that you are signed in with GitHub account. If you don't have an account, create one because you will need a, a GitHub account for this. Now, once you're ready, you need to fork this uh, project. Just click on fork option. I actually forked this already, so I can't create a new fork. So in your case, it will ask you to create a new fork. So you can see uh, I have the Magiscon WSA KB2. This is my fork of the Magiscon WSA. You can rename it to whatever you like. So now you will see similar thing, but this time you need to go to the actions. All right, click on that. And now you need to click on under workflow build WSA click on that and here you need to click on run workflow here you can customize the WSA package by changing these options so you can change the architecture type you can change it to x64 unless you have the arm a PC so I have a Intel you know x64 uh, CPU so I know that it's x64 for for the most people it is going to be the x64 unless you know that your PC is ARM then you'll have to go with the ARM 64 so I'm gonna choose the x64 now under WSA release type you can leave it default uh, which will be retail which will give you the stable version of the uh, Windows subsystem for Android but if you want to get the preview builds of uh, Windows subsystem for Android, then you can choose from release preview, insider, slow or fast. So I'm just going to keep it to retail, which will give me the stable version of the WSA. Next, Magisk version, you can leave it to default. You don't need to change it. Next, variants of G apps. Here you can choose the Google Apps package. You can go super, stock, full, mini, micro, pico. You can choose any of these options. So if you just want to get the Google Play Store and you don't want other Google applications, then you can choose this option, pico which will only install Google Play Store and you can just use Google Play Store to get the other Google applications easy. Next, we have root solution. If you want to have a root on WSA, then choose Magisk option. But if you don't want to have a root, then just click on none, just like that. And now you just need to click on run workflow. Now it will start a workflow build WSA just like that. You can see I have one workflow already created, which I created 12 hours ago. You can see here, you just have to wait a few minutes. After that, it will give you the green check mark, which means that the WSA package is ready and you can click on this build WSA. And after that, you can see WSA G apps, Pico, uh, package that you can just click and download so actually I have it already downloaded in my downloads folder you can see WSA package is downloaded so simply you just need to unzip it and after that go to the unzipped folder here you need to find this file which says install now you need to right click on this file and after that click on run with PowerShell just like that and it will say the operation completed successfully for some reason, if uh, you get any error or something like that, go to Windows Features, turn Windows Features on or off and make sure that Virtual Machine Platform is turned on. Once you turn this on, make sure you restart your PC and then uh, try to install the WSA again, just like that. Once this is installed, it will automatically open the Windows subsystem for Android. And you can see we have the Google Play Store. All right. And we have the Windows subsystem for Android installed here, just like that. 
easy peasy and now you can sign in with your google account let me actually sign in i'm signed in with my google account and you can see i can download any games or any apps that i want to download and use it's it's cool right so as we all know uh, windows subsystem for android officially doesn't come with google play store so this magiscon wsa at github is really helpful to get a google play store on wsa on windows 11 and if windows subsystem for android isn't available in your country you can't download it from microsoft store then you can actually use this method to get uh, windows subsystem for android from any country so yeah this is just extra tip for you guys so i think that's it hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or suggestions please do the comment and uh, yeah i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye